Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. In today's YouTube video we are going to rank visual note-taking apps or I'm at least going to try to rank visual note-taking apps and we are going to do a top five and we are starting off with the fifth one which is Squintle and Squintle is similar to an application like uh, Heptabase where you have boards and you have boards within boards and you have the card structure and you can also see all of your cards as well as your boards tags and so on you have the basic abilities you would expect in a note-taking application like this like things like um things like backlinking uh and the ability to link different things together and see how they are linked you have things like word count inside of your uh, inside of your cards and just in general it is a great application uh, for visual thinkers if you are going to use text this does not um, do as good of a job when you use for example uh, images or different files it is much better for just text pricing wise this will cost you uh, around 7 USD, a little under 7 USD I think this comes out to, uh, but again uh, pricing might vary depending on uh, where in the world you are, but around 7 USD each month, uh, or you can actually pay uh, 350 for the lifetime plan, so you could pay for the lifetime plan as well, so pricing wise this isn't too bad, but it is really a new product it doesn't have a mobile application it is great for visual thinkers who want to break down their thinking into different smaller cards and it is great for creating yourself a zettel custom system but i am going to place it fifth for uh, many different reasons one of them being the fact that it does not have a mobile app yet and i just don't think that it is as good as uh, the other options on my list. Fourth place on this list, another one that is very te uh, text heavy, uh, but this uh, uses AI as well. And the way this works is that it has a hard limit on how long your different notes can be. So uh, they can't be longer than this, for example. I don't know what the hard limit actually is uh, on. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. Uh, but they, the point of this is that they want you to break down your knowledge and not to have too long notes. Uh, but as you can see, the line goes right here. So they have a limit on how long your different notes can be. But what they do is that they use AI to be able to connect your different notes together. Uh, it is again like uh, a couple other of the application it is really early days for something like this and it needs time to develop but the ai is actually doing a great job and here we even have a mobile application as well so you can capture things on the go and you can uh, go through your uh, daily mix which allows you to go through your notes and it introduces a little bit of serendipity into your note taking app so you could use this once a day or once a week or how uh, how many times you would like to just go through your different notes you also have an inbox here where you can have all of your notes but uh, all of your captured notes but uh, it uses AI to tag them and connect them together so this is again a text heavy one but a very visual application and the main selling point of this is probably the fact that it will connect things uh, for you so connections you might not have been able to figure out uh, by yourself it will do for you. Uh, that's the main selling point of this application and it uses AI to do that. So as AI keeps getting better, this application will also keep getting better. So third place is actually uh, Milanote. This is probably the best one if you are a designer and you're looking for a way to both take notes and do some light project management or even heavy project management. But basically here you can create yourself exactly what you want using the different things inside of Milanote. So whether that's 
uh, creating a Kanban board for yourself, having to-dos inside of here, uh, having uh, text or even uh, documents, full-on documents inside of here. You can have color palettes here as well. Uh, and it is a really beautifully designed application which allows you to be creative in the way you want to organize it. But basically the way this works is that you have uh, you have um, these boards right here and you can have different cards within your board. So uh, just to show you an example from one of my former YouTube videos, if we go back here, actually I will use the podcast with super notes for this here i can have different file uh different cards as well as files this actually does a great job with files as well so you can add images video files even adobe creative cloud files if that is something uh you use a lot this is more of a project manager uh, as you can see in this board right here here i have used it as a project manager but if we jump back and go into my resources board it can actually be used as um as a note taking app as well and i have my own board for all of the different note taking apps right here uh, and you have a lot of uh, possibilities with this to be able to be creative and create exactly what you want and how uh, create a way to see them that works for you this allows you to be highly creative with the organization which is something a lot of people do like we have things like templates inside of here as well if you have a board type you use a lot so the possibilities are almost endless with an application like this uh, on the free plan you get a hundred uh, items so you can have a hundred uh, card stocks uh, images and so on after that you actually either have to uh, by, uh, refer a friend or you can upgrade to the professional plan which is $9.99 a month if built yearly or $12.50 if built monthly. As I said this is more tailored towards people who uh, design and work in design and work with a lot of different file types as well as images. This will probably do a great job for you. So second place we have Heptabase and Heptabase is an application I've talked about before many times. This also performs best with uh, uh, with text and it has it is quite similar to something like uh, Scrintle, but I think that it is a little bit better. Uh, this also performs quite well using PDFs. But apart from that, I have tested with images. It isn't the best at that. That is why it is given a second place. Again, the rankings are highly personal, but I have chosen to place this uh, on second place. I think that it is a great application. I think that they are doing an amazing job at um, making it better uh, every with every update uh, and uh, the development is great and basically it has a journal page with light task management so you can add task in tasks in here and you will have a task bar so just to show you how that works if i do to do uh, and i just write test you can see that the tasks appear right here so you have a centralized place for your tasks and you can reschedule them uh, if you want to do so basic task management we have inside of here we also have a card library to see all of our different cards uh, as well as a map view to see all of our different maps the tags inside of this application is what makes it great because these tags can actually work as a way for you to uh, have databases as well and even kanban boards uh, so every time you tag a card it can be turned into these databases and you can even have tags nested uh, underneath other things so projects areas resources archive is what i've done so a beautifully designed application it might seem a little scary at first but it is actually super easy to learn uh, and it is a great application for those of you who want to take text-based notes the major difference between Scrintle and this is that uh, 
uh, the first thing is that this has been around a little longer and it has uh, developed a lot faster. Uh, but the second thing um, is uh, that the user interfaces are a little different. So you just have to figure out which one you prefer. This also has a mobile app. Actually, the only application that does not have a mobile app is um, is uh, um, Scrental. And uh, pricing-wise, this gives you a free trial, but after that you have to pay for the application. And a premium subscription to Hapstabase will cost you $11.99 each month on the monthly plan or uh, $8.99 each month on the yearly plan. Last application and the one I actually use for my uh, note taking and one of the reasons why I can't show you everything inside of it is because this is actually the one I am using so I have a lot of private notes here but what's great about this application which is called my mind is that it uses AI to tag things for you uh, and I will do a video on how I use this but basically these tags are made by a uh, the AI as well as the TLDR, which I uh, pay, have because I pay for the highest tier plan. Uh, but you can also have uh, different folders or spaces, smart spaces inside of here. Uh, so if you think that this view right here is a little cluttered, uh, you can actually have uh, smart spaces. So I have one for my reading list. And this has everything. Um, that is an article and is tagged read later uh, and um, actually I just need to delete a tag right here uh, and uh, this uh, has as I said article and read later uh, but I also have one for my book notes uh, where these are the books I've read and I've taken notes on right here these are mind notes and these are actually searchable again uh, we have tags made by the AI. I have put the tag book notes to make this smart folder happen. Uh, and I also have one reading list for my books. And what's fun about this, this is a new update, is that you can actually click here and you can see the page count, release date, edition, and ISBN number, uh, which is a really cool feature they just recently added. Uh, I like this application because uh, you don't have to organize a lot. Uh, you can uh, rely on search to find everything uh, you are looking for. Uh, and that's mainly why I like this uh, application uh, because I just don't want to spend too much time organizing and it is highly visual. It does an amazing job with images as well and it uses AI to do the tagging as well as this same vibe feature. We can click same vibe and you get everything that is the same vibe as the thing uh, you looked at. Uh, that is also a cool feature as well as things like time-based searches. Uh, so I feel like they have um, they have uh, developed this in a great way. They keep on developing it. The application feels really good. It is great on the phone as well. I mostly take notes on my phone. I mostly read them on my computer. It works well on both. Uh, so I am really happy with this application. It also has a serendipity feature that allows you to go through your uh, previous notes. So uh, I'm placing this first uh, mainly because I use it a lot myself but it is such a great application that I really do love. If you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so so much for watching today's video.